In the wake of COVID-19, another virus made headlines, M-pox, formerly known as monkeypox. But what is M-pox? Where did it come from? And should we still be concerned in 2025? Mpox is a viral zoonotic disease, meaning it originally spread from animals to humans. It's caused by the Mpox virus, part of the Orthopox virus family, the same group that includes smallpox. It was first discovered in 1958 in lab monkeys, hence the original name, but it's believed to naturally occur in rodents and other small mammals in Central and West Africa. Symptoms and spread. Symptoms usually appear within 5 to 21 days after exposure. They include fever, headache, muscle aches, swollen lymph nodes, fatigue, and most distinctively, a painful blister-like rash that often starts on the face or genitals and spreads. Most cases are mild but vulnerable individuals, such as those with compromised immunity, can develop complications. In 2022, Mpox spread to non-endemic countries in Europe, North America and beyond. Unlike earlier outbreaks, this wave involved person-to-person -person transmission, mostly through close physical contact, especially intimate or skin-to-skin -skin contact. Transmission methods include direct contact with rash, scabs or body fluids, contaminated clothing or bedding and respiratory droplets in prolonged face-to-face -face contact. Let's talk about treatment, vaccines and protection. Most people recover within two to four weeks with rest and supportive care. However, antiviral medications like Tecovirimat or TPARC-X may be used in severe cases. Vaccination. There are two main vaccines. First, Gineos, also known as Invimune or Invinex, which is a newer non-replicating vaccine. And second, ACAM 2000, an older smallpox vaccine with more side effects. These vaccines are offered to high-risk groups, especially during outbreaks. To lower your risk, avoid close skin-to-skin -skin contact with people who have a rash. Don't share bedding, towels or clothing, wash your hands regularly and use protection during intimate contact. As of 2025, global case numbers have decreased thanks to public health campaigns and vaccination drives. However, Mpox remains endemic in certain regions and continues to be monitored as a potential outbreak risk. As of 2025, global case numbers have decreased thanks to public health campaigns and vaccination drives. However, Mpox remains endemic in certain regions and continues to be monitored as a potential outbreak risk. Did you know? Did you know? Mpox is genetically related to smallpox, which was eradicated in 1980. That victory shows that with science and vigilance, we can contain even dangerous viruses. Mpox may not be making headlines like it used to, but staying informed is still your best defense. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more science-based updates.